It's currently December. You're probably watching this in January, so I probably have a baby by now. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan. And today is a grocery haul. I didn't think I'd be doing more of these, but um, 40 weeks today, still pregnant, still no baby, and we did groceries, so <laughs> we're doing a grocery haul. Uh, we went to two places today, Coven and Nations, and this is like groceries for like, I don't know, like three days basically. My mom and my brother are coming tomorrow and because I'm very excited to have people to eat Vietnamese food with. Not that Eddie doesn't like Vietnamese food, but he doesn't really like Vietnamese food. <laughs> you don't like the home style Vietnamese food. You like the like popularized stuff. Why is it popular, Lisa? Because it's good. Well, it's popularized because we live in Canada and it's white people friendly. I'm white people. This is true. But again, you don't like home style Vietnamese food. <laughs> I bought a bunch of ingredients. We're having bun hai, which is like, I mean, it's not really. That that one is like pretty popularized. But I want to make gan o wa, which, uh, which I have like an old recipe for with seitan. But now that, you know, vegan meat tech has improved over the last like four four or five years. I think that video is like four years old. So I have a seitan version if you don't have access to like vegan mock meats. I wanna make one with Beyond Meat or Impossible. I don't think we have any Impossible, so we're using Beyond. Plus my brother doesn't really enjoy like Canadian food that much, even though that's like what Eddie likes. So I'm excited to have more Vietnamese style foods. I bought many foods. Let's go into it. Lettuce for burgers for Eddie <laughs> and also bun hai. So we're gonna have like lettuce wraps and, uh, in the goi Uh If you don't know what bun hai is, it's like vermicelli noodle bundles with like green onion oil on top. I've made it in f a few videos in the past. I made it recently. It's very good. Link down below for a recipe for that if you would like it. I'm honestly very proud of myself because the veggie section of the fridge is pretty empty, actually. Good job, me. So I'm gonna shove that lettuce in there. Boom, boom. Where's my water? Oh God, it's so far. So pregnant. You can't really tell because I'm wearing black, but I'm pretty pregnant. I am exactly nine months pregnant. Is nine months 36 weeks? Or is it 40 weeks? I'm 40 weeks pregnant. Baby is due today. We're still here. Edward wanted burgers. So we bought burger buns. All right, so this goodie bag is full of stuff from Coven. Uh, I love Coven. It is the vegan grocery store in my city. They're amazing, they're awesome, they're radical, they're inclusive, they're a great place. So if you ever are in Hamilton, do be sure to go to Coven because they have the good, good vegan stuff. The good, good things that we got. Cocoa Whip, because I want to make croffles and I put coconut whip on top of croffles. Uh, no room up here. That's gonna go in the freezer downstairs. I have a, a reel and a TikTok, I think, of both of those things. It's just basically Pillsbury Crescents cooked in a waffle maker topped with Cocoa Whip and Chia blueberry jam. Oh, I do have a recipe for it. I'll link it down below. Pudding. We haven't seen caramel pudding before, and I like the dark pudding, the bark, dark chocolate pudding. So, bell soy pudding. Edward, can you be here and just help me? What do you mean? Just like take things away from me. Pull up a seat. Pop, pop a squat. Keep me company. Tofuti sour cream, because we want stroganoff. Well, I want stroganoff. Jamaican patties. Black owned business. The patty queen behind this named Carolyn. She's one of my favorite vendors at VegFest. But she's very cool. They came out with a new flavor, which is the Jamaican coconut curry. I like it. It's very good, but this is my favorite. Actually, in the beginning of my pregnancy, when I couldn't really eat much, I ate these. Next, we bought some hot honey. This is from uh, Bring Me Some Vegan. Oh, they the label's kind of messed up on this. This makes me sad. It's vegan honey, but it's spicy. Very good for chicken wings. Vegan, of course. Bell soy cream, creamer, cooking cream. I don't know, it's just cooking cream. Uh, it's like half and half, but unsweetened. Is that what, was that what the equivalent is? Cooking cream, whipping cream? I don't know. I use it for Alfredo. <laughs> uh, they were sold out for a while, so anytime I see it, I try and grab it. Coconut condensed milk. Um, I've been enjoying using this for 
Vietnamese coffee. It is not my favorite for Vietnamese coffee because it adds the sweetness, but not the color and the creaminess that I want. But it's as close as I can get right now. So I use this and coffee creamer. It's a lot, but you know what? I don't care. Just egg. A bunch of you have asked me where I get this from. Again, I get it from Coven. I don't know where else it is available in cartons like this. I just know that at Coven, they have it frozen and it's awesome. And I love them. And I love that it is better than the plastic containers that you can normally get this in. Unfortunately, I have no control over whether or not you can get this. So email just and say that you saw that it is possible and maybe request that they have this sold where you are. I don't know. Via Life Cheese, I really want Alfredo. It's like the same like five dishes that I've been craving over and over. It's like Alfredo, stroganoff, a bun high, <laughs> hot pot. Anytime I go to Coven, they never have this in stock, except for when I call, then they always have it, which means I always have to call or I make Eddie call. I don't wanna have to call every time. I just want them to have it all the time. So this time I bought it ahead of time so that we have it for Alfredo. Recipe link down below. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very tired and I had my 40 week appointment today and it was very uncomfortable. So that's the energy we're bringing today. Bun Hai, this is the vermicelli noodles that are flat noodle sheets. This is for like lemongrass tofu noodle bowls, boom. Um, kinda like salad bowls. Uh, this is what we're gonna be feeding my mom and my brother while they're here. Rice paper, also for noodles. Or bun cool. Um, mushrooms for stroganoff. Again, I feel like this haul is very similar to the last haul that we did. But you know what, it's fine. Eggplant. I'm craving um, just like stir fried eggplant that I eat with rice. It's a great time. I've been really enjoying it. Honestly, I'm probably gonna make it for dinner, so I'm just gonna leave it out because I'm gonna cook with it shortly. Uh, if you want the recipe for it, there was a video where I was like really homesick earlier on in the pandemic. So I cooked that dish. I'll link it here and down there. Bitter melon, this is the can oa that I was talking about. Green onions, they were three for two dollars. Normally I wouldn't buy this because I can't eat that many green onions, but I've been making a lot of green onion oil uh, and with my mom and my brother coming, it'll be very handy. I want pickled carrots and daikon for bun cool because I only have one jar left. Daikon, carrot. This is great. <laughs> Um, my brother really likes tofu, but like soft tofu. I like fried tofu. Oh, I meant to buy fried tofu. That's fine, we don't have space. Um, so I have soft tofu, that is for mapo tofu, and I have silken tofu, just to eat. <laughs> I think that you've seen me buy these a lot in the past. Granted, I don't buy them that much anymore because um, they hurt my butt. <laughs> they're very spicy and my body recognizes this spice specifically and it's like no no you will have fire in your digestive system today so I generally avoid this however Eddie can eat this without a problem and my brother can because he is young and has not destroyed his digestive system with spice like I, I have this is the TVP that is like Szechuan spicy beef flavored it's very good um, we like putting this in goi kung, which is like the spring roll rice paper wrappy things it's very good. Also good for eating like on vermicelli bowls. Mapo tofu. Honestly, I thought about making mapo tofu from scratch, but I gave my Szechuan peppercorns to Kat and Dev for uh, their Korean vegan video. So I just gave it my Szechuan peppercorns, so I don't have them anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'll just buy a package because let's be real. I'm gonna be very lazy. I have all the other ingredients except for broad bean paste and this. Uh, Szechuan, so I was like, you know what? Just to be easy, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, so this one is vegan friendly, medium hot. My brother loves mapo tofu. I think it's strictly okay, but he likes it. So I have bought it so that we can make it. Lemons, um, I wanna make, like I said, the, the croissant waffles, the croffles. Um, and I usually make like a blueberry chia jam to go on top and it requires a little bit of acidity. So I bought some lemons. Also might do some baking later. It's always good to have some lemons, you know? And then the last two things are kind of the same. You might recognize this. This is fermented uh, red bean curd or bean curd with red yeast. Um, this is what is used for char siu bao. Um, I have a char siu bao recipe on the blog slash also in an older video. So this is the paste that we use 
for that. It is umami and funky and delicious and uses bean curd and that is the basis of that sauce. And then the other thing, which is kind of the same as this, but it doesn't have the red yeast, it's just in spicy chili oil, is regular bean curd. They sell this in bigger bought, like jars, but because it's only me in the house that eats it, I always buy the little one. Because sometimes if I like don't go through a phase of eating the whole jar like relatively soon, it gets kind of weird looking. So I buy the smaller ones because I eat through those faster. And I put it on my like rice porridge. I've been eating like a lot of mung bean and rice porridge um, jiao, or other people might know it as kanji, juk, it's, it's rice porridge. Um, it's very good. I like using that as the salt in it. I have an old recipe where I use like green mung beans, but lately I've been using hulled mung beans, which are like the yellow mung dal. Good for beanie baby, you know? Lots of iron, fiber, protein. Honestly, beanie baby has had a party every time I ate it, but probably because of the rice content. Let's be real, they love a carb. So that is the grocery haul. I think I spent $81 at Coven and then $57 at Nations. Like I said, the Nations haul is like three days worth of food for five people. Nope, four people. <laughs> I can't count. A lot of money for like three days, but it's for four people, so not too shabby. That's a grocery haul. It's currently December. You're probably watching this in January, so I probably have a baby by now. Future Lisa. Hope you're okay. Hope you made it through this. <laughs> Eddie's like looking at me very alarmed. I, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous about it. Birthing a human, having your cervix prodded is already uncomfortable, let alone having a baby go through there. You know what I'm saying? Not looking forward to that. Anyway, looking forward to meeting our small child. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>